regulation number seven says the applicant who has passed the written as well as oral examination written as well as oral examination right but something is missing here in in the same year by chance this year you pass the written exam and do not pass the oral next year again you have to appear for written exam then only oral so this must be in the same year those words are missing here so once a candidate has passed a written as well as oral examination shall make a payment if he wants a license now he has to pay the fees for the license earlier fees paid 500 rupees that was only for the purpose of examination license fees is here once he has passed the exam then only comes the question of payment of fees for the license and how much fees is there 8000 and when it is payable within 2 months okay so within 2 months since the result is declared this fees is to be paid and now see inform the payment of particular to the principal commissioner or commissioner no separate application required it is the intimation of payment of fees so you can say it is the evidence that the fees has been paid and it is a formal letter that now the applicant then now the license be issued no specific application form is there for this purpose application is already given in form a so that form a itself is called an application for the license but actually that is the application for Exam examination yes. okay so there are certain discrepancies forget that so now you have to once the once the written as well as oral both the exams have been passed and the fees of 5000 is payable within two months from the date of declaration of result and the intimation is required to be given now sometimes there is a confusion in form the payment so many times the people say that the application is to be made for license no it is only the intimation required to be given to to whom ecc ecc now where it is if you appeared for exam from delhi and want to make an application in mumbai for issue of license is that possible no sir no so this intimation will also be given to the to the principal commissioner commissioner where from the candidate has passed the exam and the said principal commission on commissioner on verification of the payment particular grant a license to the within one month of the payment of such fees so how many points are here here it is says exams passed i use the word exams Number two, pay fee of rupees five thousand. Number three, inform PCC or CC. And this payment of pieces, fees is to be paid within two months since since when. Since passing the exam, exam. Pass. passing the passing exam and oral exam. exam and oral exam. exam since passing the exam and oral exam and oral exam that means after the oral exam so within two months after the oral exam after yes. the result <laughs> that is what i'm asking yeah after, after july after the result then not after, after july within two months from the date of declaration of the result Yes. So it will be result. Result will be in July, no, sir. That's what you said. Oral exam at any point of time. Oral exam is in the month of June. Yeah, result, result is also declared in the month of June. Okay. Okay. And here it comes. When the fees is to be paid? 
this is within two months from the declaration of the result of oral exam. So oral exam, certainly person can appear in the oral exam only after he has passed the written exam, not before that. So this two months start from the date of declaration of the result of the oral, right? And from the payment, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what happens if the fees is not paid? He will be forfeiting that license. He cannot. The right of getting the license is lost. See the wordings. Provided that where the successful applicant fails to make the payment of the said fees within the stipulated period, the right to grant a license to an applicant shall be forfeited. Now, two questions. He makes the payment but fails to inform the PCC whether he will have the right for the license or not. He has to no. inform. He has to inform. He will have the right. Hmm? He will have the right. He will have the right because what is said is where the successful applicant fails to make the payment. For some reason, he has made the payment, but he fails to inform the PCC or CC that I have already made the payment for the fees. Does he get the license? Yes. Because the regulation is very clear. If he makes, if he fails to make the payment of the fees only then. Had the said, any required failure to comply with any of the requirements of regulation number one, then the situation would have been different. Here they are very specific. There is a failure to make the payment of fees. Then the right is forfeited. In case of delay in informing the PCC or CC regarding the payment of fees, the right cannot be forfeited. Now, the next question is, whether PCC or CC have a discretion of forfeiting the right or not? No. What is the return? They don't have a discretion on this. If the fees is not paid in time, there is no extension, no condonation, no excuse. The right is gone. Already written clearly in the regulation. So information how to make it, sir, like by through email or how it is like by... No, intimation, it is a simple letter. That is okay. But the question is, what we are talking about here is, if the fees has been paid, the right to get the license is protected. If the fees itself is not paid, then the right is lost. Then nobody is having a right to allow any extension of time or condemnation of delay or the excuse, etc. Nothing. No appeal lies. No appeal can be done against that because it is clearly mentioned in the regulation. If you, if you fail to make the payment of the fees within the prescribed time, the right to get the license is forfeited. Okay. See this. Within the stipulated period. There is no question of any extension of time. Okay. Now coming further, the applicant who has paid the paid the fees referred in sub-regulation number one shall be granted a license by the PCC or CC as below. Now we have two different forms, form number B1 and B2. B1 is given for the license to the individual and B2 is used for? Organization. Either partner firm or? Partner, director. Or LLP. LLP, yeah. This is a customs broker license may be granted to any company, firm or association, form number B2 if at least. One director or partner or an authorized employee, as the case may be, has passed the examination referred to in regulation number six. So, LLP means he should be a partner, right? No, sir. Yes. So, an employee will not be allowed. Only for the liberty, private limited company, only employees. Employee is only for the company, not for the partnership or LLP. Okay. Okay. Hmm. To watch full video, join the regular online batch Call Tail Institute.